Hello and welcome to Go With The Heat. I'm Dominic. And I'm John. I'm Melissa. And this is your cultural... It was your cultural guide to the phenomenon that was Miami Vice. Just not any longer because... Well, I guess we still are because you know who the greatest Miami Vice podcast that has ever existed and really like that the be- only podcast that has ever existed about Miami Vice? <laughs> that would be us. It's only a matter of time before Wiki just adapts us to their page. <laughs> It has been six months. Our final Miami Vice based episode came out on March 25th of this year. It's been almost exactly six six months because this episode comes out on September 23rd. So, well, and let's be honest, let's be honest, guys. We didn't think it would be this long for them to reboot Miami Vice and for us to have a new Tubbs and Crockett, but uh, apparently that's still on hold. <laughs> yep. Yeah. They just also, stopped writing articles about it. <laughs> Also, we just fell right into this like it never stopped, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just, we're here. Let's do it. <laughs> so we've been on mic a few times with each other, kind of tossing around some ideas. And we wanted to make an episode to officially announce our unretirement. <laughs> well, still retirement from Southern law enforcement. We're not going back <laughs> to Florida. <laughs> Sorry, Florida. <laughs> we kind of had enough of you. So we are going to talk about today about where we want to take this show. And what you're going to start to see pop up into your feed uh, starting in the middle of October, October 14th to be exact. So this isn't the first episode of our relaunched show. This is just a tribute to the new show. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I I think the important thing is that since we can't give you great content about the Miami Vice action, the fantastic Vice action, what we can do is give you content about other 80s and 90s action that is just as fantastic and sometimes involves Vice actors. Exactly. Before we get this, I want to bring up a little bit of history. On September 24th of last year, we aired episode 112, which was our retrospective on the Sonny Burnett arc. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this, this time last year. The episode we had done right before yeah. then is obviously yep. bad timing. Mm-hmm. You know, the guy with the eye thing. Like that, <laughs> that guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you remember about that episode. That's a forgettable episode. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's what sticks you know, out. The, the guy with the, guy the, with the eye. eye thing. <laughs> yeah. The guy with the eye thing. Not all the other plot holes and problems with that episode. I just want to say that back then... Back in the good old days. Back in the good old days. I used to lay out a blanket and like extra pillows on Melissa's chair and get her all situated nice and comfortable. In like 10 days, she had a baby. (laughs) Yeah, I was going to (laughs) pop. Like literally my feet, my stomach, everything was going to (laughs) pop. And I kept doing that until the end of when we were doing our recording. I kept putting those pads out. Mm -hmm. I get Melissa as comfortable as possible because you are with child. (laughs) Yeah. Up until we then we went went to bi-weekly. And then we were with. And then you were with child. (laughs) I was with child feeding child <laughs> holding child no. yeah holding child during the entire recording yeah now she's sleeping so let's hopefully let's keep it that way <laughs> <laughs> we hope she's sleeping so this is a little bit of a shorter where it's going to give you a uh uh inside look as we're to having what's a happening. reunion <laughs> <laughs> exactly and we're kind of looking back at history it was just top of mind for me because it's you know almost it's almost october and we're getting ready to start the show again it's like hey what was happening this time last year we know that the baby is coming up on our one year birthday and it's like oh yeah that's right eh, a few things have happened since then yeah. you know it was good we took that six month break <laughs> but john hit on a great point when he talked about other action that we could talk about and that is the glorious era of action movies from 1975 to 1995. A two-decade span of when the greatest action movies in the history of action have come out. I don't think you can argue against that because, I mean, that pretty much goes from Dirty Harry to Last Action Hero. Like, I think mm-hmm. that covers the, everything. <laughs> Last Action Hero. <laughs> Sorry, that's funny. <laughs> With Dirty Harry. <laughs> it was a time, this era, 75 to 95, when if you were caught on the street, you were toast. You were a dead sucker. <laughs> unless you knew either A, karate, uh-huh. or B, gymnastics. Or if you knew both, Jim Cotta. <laughs> Combined it together, you got the best of both worlds. But that's only if there's like poles hanging around and like <laughs> rings. That and magic pommel <laughs> horse being in the alley was just a coincidence, Melissa. I'm sorry. <laughs> Those overhead so bars, me that... parallel bars, just being there—that was just a coincidence. I don't know. So you're telling me I can learn about friendship and dragons? Yes, <laughs> but you have to be in a band to do that, though. <laughs> <laughs> and no karate. Do you have both? No. It was also a time when motorcycle gangs just roamed the earth. 
but were they horsey motorcycles? <laughs> oh my god. They were Stargrove. Stargrove, where would we be without you? As you can see, we watch a lot of bad, what some people would refer to as bad cinema. I think they are classics, personally. Uh, and a lot of them feature some big name actors. Movies like Tango and Cash. I mean, that's Stallone and Russell. We just watched one called Never Too Young to Die with John Stamos and Vanity. Vanity and, and Gene Simmons. Gene Simmons. Wow. Just let that sink in. <laughs> John Stamos, action star. <laughs> Also, how gymnastics, is, <laughs> dirt bike rider. How is Gene Simmons not the weirdest person, not the weirdest guest star? Like somehow <laughs> Vanity seems to trump that. I don't, not in that movie. Believe me, Gene Simmons is definitely a little different than Vanity. <laughs> but John, you're right. This is a special era in that you can be a big name actor and be in a small budget or... Like an off the rails, like it's some wacky script. And it didn't matter. You could just be in this movie. It could not even be in theaters and people didn't care. Are you saying Tango and Cash went off the, <laughs> <laughs> off the rails? <laughs> I'm telling you, Stallone made, what, three Rambo movies without a script? Well, I think he's made this last one without one too. <laughs> okay, so we're up to five now, maybe. In theaters now is Rambo. So. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no script. No talking. It's just murder people with a crossbow. <laughs> it, this this is a perfect segue into like the history of us and how, why we started watching these. So way back in 2013, and this isn't when we started watching these kinds of movies. I think all three of us have always loved these kinds of movies. Yeah. But back in 2013, we started a little thing we called Movie Night. No, no it's not that creative of, of, of a name. But <laughs> well, it, you came up with it. No. <laughs> <laughs> but what it was really for is our former co-host, now guest host, Jenna, has literally never seen any movies. No, and, nothing. And so we were hell-bent to show her, her the husband. best of the best movies. They have movies. never seen any movies together. The two of them are the most clueless about cinema that ever was. They had never seen Rocky yes. until we said it. <laughs> yeah, like Rocky, Die Hard, like some yeah. of the like staple movies. So we went on this trip where all five of us could pick a movie. Everyone had a week. And they every Saturday night we watched a movie. And at the very beginning, we took it kind of seriously. I think the first movie we watched was Alien. But then it just went off the rails within like two rounds. Yeah, of we us were done picking it. And part of the problem too was we had at first we had to pick a movie we had never seen, which is a lot very difficult for for us. Yeah, we've seen a lot of movies. <laughs> we really <laughs> put us in a great spot though because we were like. Well, what other movie says Mickey Rourke been in? Yeah, exactly. Or, someone or like whatever that. name in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or Jean-Claude Van Damme. Mm -hmm. I discovered movies I'd never seen before with Jean-Claude Van Damme. <laughs> and after a while, for the, just because of the sheer volume, it was, what what movie is he in that is free? <laughs> <laughs> and that's what it was. Is we really realized how amazing these movies are. Because there's like action. That's by the numbers action movie. But there's the bot one that's not by the numbers. That's Jean Claude Van Damme. It's when Jean Claude's twin brother is himself. Oh, that's the best. Or when his partner is Dennis Rodman. Yeah, I know. It's kind of hard to get, get over having two Jean Claude's, though. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. The smart one, right? That's what the funny part is. It's the smart one and then like the athletic one. <laughs> like what? No. Or when you realize that sequels to great movies like American Ninja are just as good oh as the God. original. They're all great. All American Ninja 1, 2 through 7 or whatever there is. <laughs> best of the best three. That's the best of the best. <laughs> it's in Vegas. I mean, come on. <laughs> It wasn't just a joke. She knew what she knew about it. <laughs> of course I know about it. It's when they go off on some tangent about Native Americans and Chris Penn dies in it. It's really deep, actually. Chris Penn dies. <laughs> I'm serious. Yes. <laughs> or, John, I, I, know, I know you know a few of these, but like how in that era you could have a child as your partner in, on the police force, but the better partner you could have is a shaggy dog. <laughs> <laughs> or an orangutan. My, I, I do like orangutans are underrated as uh, police partners. Orangutans and shaggy dogs. <laughs> the reason why these movies are great is because they are aware of what they're making. They know like the references and things. Yeah. They know about the camp. 
they know they're actually making re- references to other either more serious movies or to uh, other movies that are less serious that are like, trying exactly. to tie in those kinds of things. That's what makes them so great. Or with some of the action ones, like some of the old Chuck Norris movies and stuff, it was just about action. It was just the shoot 'em up. This is the formula. We're just gonna do this just because the people like stuff blowing up and and they like the action. Like the plot was secondary. The plot was so secondary that they had to make sure in every one of the JCVD movies that it, he had to explain why his parents came from France or Brussels uh, or Brussels, and that's why he lives in Georgia now. <laughs> <laughs> I love how they made him explain it in all of his movies, but no one ever explained it in Arnold Schwarzenegger's movies. Like, <laughs> why does he randomly have an accent with all these Americans? <laughs> Because apparently Arnold was pulling it off. And Jean Clan, he couldn't. Yeah, yeah. It was never like he was like, he, uh, he's here on loan from Austria. Like, no, no. He's normal, guys. Like, pretend like he's talking normal. Uh, we keep making fun of JCVD, but. In uh, the one, the one that we were just talking about recently, Lionheart. Lionheart. Double, yeah. Double in, impact. In Lionheart, that's the best one because he's actually serving in the French Foreign Legion yes. when he comes before yes, he comes. But his to the brother's United American. <laughs> True. Uh, no, but his brother lives in America. That's what it is. Yeah. That's what. So there's I'm actually sorry. a the best real JV, the best JCVD is still time cop. <laughs> oh no, it's kind of hard to pass on him punching that snake and decapitating it with that punch. <laughs> <laughs> The best ones are where he dances and does the split. So wait, he does the splits everywhere, but when he dances, that's the best. <laughs> that leads us to what our plan is. And if you haven't guessed, it's pretty obvious. Like these actually watch movies. JCBD stuff yeah. <laughs> <laughs> repeatedly. So we're going to transition this Go With The Heat podcast over to a movie podcast. Now, before you freak out, hear us out. We're going to stay focused in this in this era, 1975 to 1995. We're really focused on action movies. Action could be as spacey in sci-fi and down to riding the horses in the outback. Like that's the kind of, you know, we're, we're, we're going to be loose w- with the action. What we want to stick to is kind of the Go With The Heat theme and the vice action style and these what people would call bad movies. And I hate that term because the people who call them bad movies are the ones that make podcasts about bad movies and they just crap on them the entire time. Yeah, we love like love these movies and the movies that we're going to pick out for this show. The reason how we're picking them is because we are trying to encourage you to, to go watch, watch them. them. If either A, if you've seen yes. it or to go watch it again, or B, if you've never seen it, give yourself these movies pretty much end right at 90 minutes. Yeah, you <laughs> so, have time. <laughs> just yes. give yourself 90 yes. minutes to be able to watch one of these movies. How this comes together. A, we're going to pick a movie that either has a vice guest star or a vice star, like one of those people yeah. in it, or B, if it's the theme. So, and in the beginning, we've already picked out a slate of movies that we're going to start with. And these movies all have straight vice connections because one of the things that we covered that John covered every single week was how deep the cast was and not just in the regular guest stars but even in like, like the, the side secondary, characters the secondary guests are so mm-hmm. deep yes so there's a lot of crossover especially because of the time frame when vice ran a lot of these movies we're talking about they're running at the same time and so you'll if you listen to the show and you listen to my segment you'll notice a lot of crossover the stuff that we're picking we wanted to keep the vice connection not just in the theme of the show but also like what it is that we love fashion cars music. high life music these guest stars like all those things kind of come together and the movies that we pick will fit those things so like invasion usa may not fit that much because he's in the south and he lives on the swamp i mean it's a great movie but you know but <laughs> yeah. instead we might do something like execution of force mm-hmm. where he like lives in san francisco and <laughs> it's up in the high class neighborhoods and stuff you know you know you know everything's <laughs> in san francisco essentially what we're saying is that we don't really care if it won uh emmy or an oscar if it's a fun movie then we're going to tell you about it we're going to tell you why it's fun and this also gives us the flexibility to pick out things and say hey you know what this week rocky 4 did come out and the rocky movies are so great we're just going to do a like a not necessarily about a a specific rocky movie just about the rocky movies like yeah the whole franchise Uh and then because and then get into a little bit about Rocky Four being the new movie that just came out so that we can talk about that. Also give us the opportunity to say, hey, we're going to take a little tangent here because uh, the Watchmen show just came out and Don Johnson's in that. So for the next six yeah. weeks, we're just going to talk about the Watchmen. And because some of these movies will 
will be available on streaming services. We might even give you a hint at where you could watch that movie that we just watched, possibly on a streaming service. Exactly. And that's why we want you to come on this journey with us. We're going to announce the movies. If you're not following us on Twitter, that's the best way to, to see these. Follow us on Twitter. You'll be able to see the movies. I'll, be, I'll announce them when we watch them. That way you can watch it be, before the next episode comes out. We would love to hear your suggestions on movies that fit this kind of theme. 75 to 95, action, some Vice crossover. We would love to hear your thoughts and what picks you would recommend for us to check out. We're probably going to be covering a lot of movies that we've seen before. So when you listen to the show, we're going to be watching them again. And then we're going to be hyped to talk about them. <laughs> <laughs> because we're going to be like, you don't understand. I this finally movie get is to amazing. talk about this movie. <laughs> yeah. Don't care what anyone says. The Swamp Thing movies are amazing. And we're going to talk about them <laughs> at some point in time. <laughs> it will. The only change that's going to come here is that this is going to be a bi-weekly show. We, I appreciate that back when we were doing an, an episode a week that we had so many people that stuck along with that cadence. But it's the Ask a Lot. There's a lot of great shows out there, a lot of great TV, a lot of great movies, podcasts, music, stuff like that. We don't want to take up too much of your time. This is an hour-long show. Bi-weekly seems to fit better for the time investment that, that you get yeah. in the show. And all the work that it takes for us to be able to produce it, moving to a bi-weekly schedule, we'll be, able to, we'll be able to put more work into each one of the episodes. So um, we're going to switch over to a bi-weekly with our first movie coming out on October 14th. Set your calendar. That's when on this feed, the same goal with the heat feed. We're not changing the feed, not changing the website, not changing any of the information. Follow all the same accounts on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, the same website, the same RSS feeds. All that stuff is all going to stay the same on October. October 14th, you'll get the first movie, and we've already picked it out, and it's going to be Harley Davidson and the Marlboro Man. Which is amazing. <laughs> yes. Mickey Rourke Obviously. and Don Johnson together? <laughs> Don Johnson's a <laughs> <Yep>. cowboy? <laughs> we had to go big for the first one, and we had to go with the big Don Johnson movie, which I think when you're kind of looking over his career, I think this is like the first big movie he was in. And there's so many to choose from. Uh, I know Dead Bang is on our list. We were just talking about A Boy and His Dog. That's going to be another one's going to be on the list. Lots of DJ movies that are going to be in there. But we also see the opportunity to go like, well, Mickey Rourke is in this movie. What's a Mickey Rourke movie that we, Mickey Rourke we should watch in the future? Yeah, exactly. And then what's a crossover with him? He's in a movie with Insert Someone Else. We could go on that. Mm -hmm. You know, like that kind of stuff. We, we can follow, follow some chains. We can follow some directors. We could do a more Vice crossover. We could find some hidden gems of former Vice guest stars that were movies that no one had seen before. Uh, so I'm really excited about where this show is going to go. Bi-weekly, first episode coming out on October 15th. We would love to hear from you on the movies that you recommend us to check out and maybe even some short run tv shows yeah some made for tv yeah. movies oh i love those <laughs> <laughs> i love me some made for tv movies <laughs> <laughs> we would love to hear from you and and last point on that when it comes to everyone really want to say thank you to everyone who followed along with the show and looking at uh our social media accounts and the downloads that has happened on go with the heat since we stopped recording it hasn't missed a beat and we're really thankful for everyone who's checked out the show, who continues to support us, who have shared the show with other people and they're finding it now for the first time. You can see when something happens because we'll get one day where someone has downloaded every single episode off of the website. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we really appreciate everyone sticking around for the whole run of that show and now being here and seeing this in your feed for the new episode on where this podcast is going to go. So really, really thank you to everyone on their support of us and their interest in us and all the great notes that we got from people after we finished the Miami Vice run. We heard from a lot of people, a lot of great things. Uh, just really excited for the feedback that we got and the support that we got from everyone when we were doing Miami Vice. And that's why we were super excited to start it up again. Yeah, I completely agree with you, Dom. We had, we had an amazing journey. It was a lot of fun. And I'm excited to get started back up doing it. Doing the movies and stuff is going to be a lot of fun and obviously if miami vice does reboot and pop back up we'll probably mention it absolutely so that's gonna do it for us this week we hope you enjoyed this episode we would love to hear from you email us go with the heat at gmail.com get us on twitter at go with the heat facebook facebook.com slash go with the heat instagram instagram.com slash go with the heat you can find us pretty much anywhere and everywhere go with the heat and also that you can subscribe to us on pretty much everywhere 
Pocket Cast, mm-hmm. Spotify, that Pandora thing, I guess, is still around. Like people <laughs> still do that Pandora thing. We're on there. Hey, I just like to say we're big time around Spotify. Just, you know, just saying Spotify. Just saying, Spotify. I mean, Spotify. <laughs> you would love to hear from you. Email us, goldheat at gmail.com. Be sure to check out that website, goldtheheat.com. Make sure you're subscribed. Tell everyone that we are back. <laughs> they could just subscribe to the same RSS or turn back on the notifications for this feed. If you've just been sitting there and everyone's all scrolling by going, oh, someday, someday, I know I've kept this in my podcatcher for a reason because someday there's going to be a little one in the corner saying there's a new episode out for this. <laughs> Today is that day. So that's going to do it for us this week. We hope you enjoyed this show and we'll see you all October 14th. Bye, pals. <laughs> <laughs>